tell Grandma? You know the house wasn't in good condition when we lived here. I got, I got bullied in school and stuff because of it. People made fun of me. My friends couldn't come over. Why were you bullied? Because um, I always had like a smell to me, and they knew like the condition of the house. I could just tell. Just tell the truth. I am telling the you truth. You are making Mark. us look like. No, I'm not making you look like nothing. Dallas, how about for you? You were never ever here, though. He wasn't here because why? Because it's nasty. I'm not gonna sleep with cockroaches and mice. She wants to claim that it was all right. Like, we were in an okay living situation when we were living there. That's, that's what really makes me mad. This is the same old behavior my grandma's been displaying since I was young. There's gonna be a lot of family work that needs to happen over the next couple yes. days. We're putting on hazmat suits because I have no idea what we're gonna find. I've heard there's been dogs, mice, rats, all defecating all over the place. So I need to be prepared. Whoa, I see what you guys are talking about at this point. This is much worse than I thought. You need to be extremely careful coming in. The entire floor is covered with trash. Wow. The stairwell is completely barricaded. Guys, this is the way to the second floor. Yeah. Oh, wow, you guys see this? That is all rodent waste. You can see the urine. There is feces everywhere. From the flies on the walls, there's insects buzzing past our ears. This is a disaster zone. That's, that's the level at which the rodents are this high also running around. Look at all the shredded stuff. Smelling everything, seeing everything, just shot me right back to my childhood. I just felt like disgusted and I needed to take a second and take everything in. They ain't gonna jump on us, right? You know what? That's a great question and honestly, I can't guarantee that. Can we, can we move? Trip me the hell out. It's nasty. There's cobwebs everywhere. There's feces everywhere stacked up like four feet. Disgusting. See oh all that stuff God. going up the side what of the, the wall there? Is that? See the trim? That's all fly waste. That is where they have been pooping. How is she been living like this? The good news is, with your mom's permission, we're going to get this taken care of. But it's going to be critical that she get treatment so that this doesn't happen again. The way we were living and stuff, I, I just don't like thinking about it. And it just kind of brought up some nasty, bad memories, really. Where, where did everybody sleep? I slept on that mattress right there, on the floor. That mattress? Yep. There was a mattress that she could see in the far corner that she used to sleep on covered in waste. And it's completely unimaginable how she could have possibly slept there. What gravely concerns me about this situation, quite frankly, the majority of this is actually garbage. I know. So what is going on? Why can't she let go of trash? What is wrong with her? I don't get it. Let's keep rolling here. All right, guys, I, I would absolutely love to say that um, watch your step, but everywhere you look, there's dog feces. Everywhere. Like, you, we're walking in it. In my honest opinion, I would just torch it. Really. It's disgusting. Do you know if this is where the dog lived? That's her chain. Yep, she was chained up to you for so long. She was chained to this yeah. plant stand? How many years? Like, almost a decade, wasn't it? Um, I don't know. That's where it lived. And so it had one area to eat, drink, and literally go to the bathroom. Right now, I have.
have about 15 dogs and nine cats. I can't open it. I'm horrified. I'm gonna have to call somebody to pull you out of there. I don't think I'm a hoarder.